The general public has been duped by the new age and metaphysical publishing industry, and by the uncritical mainstream media. Regarding the true heritage of tarot cards, the connection of tarot cards with the occult is based on false histories concerning the deck's origins. Tarot cards do not come from Egypt. Tarot cards have no genuine connection with Kabbalah. Tarot cards are not ancient, and they were not originally created for divination. Tarot cards began to appear in 15th century Italy. Tarot was made for card games. The practice of tarot reading dates no earlier than the 18th century. Tarot is the trick-taking card game that brought forth the notion of a trump suit in card games. Tarot, like contract bridge and scat, has been called a chess of card games for good reason. Tarot has clearly made a valuable contribution to our game-playing culture. This contribution is sadly being obscured by those who continue to sell tarot exclusively as a fortune-telling or divination tool. Because many Europeans play card games with tarot cards. European tarot cards are often more interesting and diverse than American ones. A wide variety of tarot deck designs would be possible if our narrow view of tarot cards as a divination tool were changed. Tarot cards should be seen as a game-playing device because game-playing is what they were really made for. People around the world could have more interesting tarot cards if the psychic tarot industry would get out of the way and allow the tarot to be the card game it was meant to be. If more people around the world knew that tarot cards could be a game, we could have tarot cards based on Scooby-Doo, Looney Tunes, Betty Boop, or Star Wars. Tarot could be like the Monopoly board game, with all these different additions based on popular characters. Not only do the tarot games exercise one's thinking and memory skills, they are quite wholesome and suitable for all family members. Psychics and tarot readers should stop being appointed as exclusive spokespeople for tarot. There is a continuing interest in tarot card playing in Europe, with a growing interest in North America and elsewhere. It is time for game players worldwide to reclaim the tarot. The continued focus on tarot is only a divination tool as an obstacle to our cultural progress. Let game playing become the future of tarot.